This is the cinematic language for the small screen. Good evening and welcome to the show. I am so super, super, super amped about this tonight because we have a jam-packed show for you. We're going to talk about a lot of really interesting stuff and it finds itself in what I think is probably one of the most insane things about communication. As much as we communicate on camera and we're there talking to people and people see a background and they see an environment that we're in, there's a huge amount of visual information that they take in at the same time. In television and particularly in the film world, we call this the cinematic language and of course there are some basic rules to it. I'm going to share some of the basics with you, but the real interesting part is about how all of this translates into this world where we present in a 16 by 9 frame every day during a Zoom, in, Zoom webinar, doing, during a meeting, maybe it's a formal presentation. But there are so many things that could go wrong and sometimes they do without us even realizing why our viewers are tuning out. And so I'm hoping to shed some light on that tonight. What I'm going to start with is a story. I had this really fabulous shirt that I loved so much that had this insignia and unfortunately I could not bring the shirt in anymore because over time I've um, actually worn it out completely but I managed to find that and it's a Chinese inscription by Confucius and it really is often translated by people as something that says a picture is worth a thousand words. Now I once landed up in this airplane, in fact the time that I bought it and I flew from Thailand I think it was to Singapore and a Singaporean gentleman said to me do you know what that is? And at that time I didn't. And he said, often people get this wrong because the truth is this translation isn't a picture is worth a thousand words. It actually translates to a picture is worth a thousand in gold. Now, what I like about that is going, it's far more value than we could imagine. Um, we've just had the studio, studio lights switched on. Um, it's far more that you could imagine. And the interesting thing about this is when you really start to think about how much of that nonverbal cueing is happening during communication, as we said before, it could be um, the shirt that you don't like, the look of me, the tired eyes, the haircut that may be a bit much for you, the background, the slides in the background, the color scheme. There's so much that is communicating all the time. And that's what we're going to look at tonight when we talk about the cinematic language. And the first part of what we're going to really look in the first 21 minutes or so is to talking pictures, we're going to talk about mise en scène, what is that, and we're going to talk all about the camera. Now this stuff, as I said, is gleaned from my presenter framework, and these basics are really designed to help you to get in there. The first thing that I would like to do is to introduce you to this, which is in your uh, chat box right now, an ideas and inspiration sheet, and if you want to check that out, you can uh, see how the uh, form can help you to kind of jot down ideas that you like, things that you maybe see that you would like to uh, note down or particularly go and in interact with later. Try within the next uh, at least uh, five or seven days to book some time in your diary and get this going and see if there's something that you could implement tonight. But the idea is really just to jot it down and get going. Let's get going with the show right away. <laughs> 